close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Hi guys, it's me, Red, and I am here with a brand new video. Today I'm doing a DIY video for your dolls. It's how to make um, Tumblr inspired ombre wall art, as you can see. Um, I've wanted to do this video for a very long time and it's finally getting done today. I am so, so happy I don't do DIY videos. Well, I try to, the amount of times I try to do DIY and it fails. Um, so I'm going to show how to make this purple one. I'm going to show how to make this red one. I'm going to show how to make this green one. And I'm also going to show you how to make this blue one. They are so easy and so simple to create and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's Let's get on with it. Okay then, so things that you're going to need is PVA glue. I prefer PVA glue because it dries much quicker in my opinion. Um, any kind of paint, but the paint that I'm using is I'm using blue paint. I'm using green. And I'm going to use red. And then I'm going to use purple. And then you're going to need any type of paintbrush. I want to use three different kinds due to the width and the height. So this for the much higher tones and these for the lighter ones. And then something to put your paint in. I'm using the access of this pizza box. And then you're actually going to need the cardboard to do the ombre paint on. So the cardboard, which was a full piece like that, but I folded it in half so you can't see the pizza box on the other side. And then a pair of scissors. These are really sharp ones. I don't feel like you need sharp ones, but if that's the only source of availability, then use them. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I've done is I've just put glue on the pizza box and then I'm going to put my paint this way that you won't see the other side of the the pizza box once you're done okay then so now I'm going to cut out as many pieces of the cardboard as you want in different sizes so if you want them to be long, they could be long. If you want them to be smaller, they could be smaller. Because these are going to be the templates that you're going to use. Now I need four, so I've got four different paints. And then once these are fully dry, then you can then we can go with the paint. So now I'm going to show you how to make the different shades of paint. Go in with your PVA glue. You're going to need to make four doubles doubles or little piles of the glue I know the glue is kind of connecting to each other but like that's really not a concern at the moment then once you've done that then you're going to want to go in with um, four shades of the of each colour so one, well three actually, three shades. Just using each one. So I'm going to show you how to make the lighter colours first. So the lighter colours, you're going to need kind of like a medium size paintbrush like that focus is it focusing it's not I do it like out like that so starting off with the purple I'm taking the first double and mixing it with the PVA this makes a really nice light colour and that is your first well one of your first shades now as you can see it makes a really nice shade I'm just trying to get rid of the access Ew, it's raining. Yuck. Then, you're going to want to add a 
bit more PVA glue and you're probably thinking why are you adding more because you need this to be a paler version you'll understand in a minute so it needs to be for more pale than that the color so now that version has gone a lot more of a pink Up. Now I'm going to start at the one at the end and add a very small droplet of the PVA and we're going to make that second colour. I know you can see my tripod but just leave that. Um, you're going to want to make a smaller colour. So the colour is going to be light but not too light. Need a bit more PVA. So as you can see, it's like a mini work of art here. So that is my darker colour, my second darker colour, and then my, no, my first, my dark colour, my first lighter colour, my second lighter colour, and then so on in the pattern. It may not make sense to you guys, but it'll make sense once we get painting. So I think I'm going to start off with the purple, considering that's the first one I made, and then we're going to go that way. So let's get, so let's get into it. So I'm going to use my thickest paint brush. As you say, I've got paint all over my hand. And I'm gonna start off, start off with my darker colour and brush to the top. I've got some water. Now I'm going to go with my next colour. So because the lighting it looks really out of sync but it doesn't look at that out of sync in real life I think you'll be able to tell the pictures much better but now this is what I'm going to do use my paintbrush I am going to go downwards with each of the layers of paint Use my brush, I'm going downwards. And then I'm going to go in with my darker colour again and dab the bottom. Okay then, so here is the almost finished product. It just needs to dry. As you can tell the way it's drying, but it's really nice. And I'm just going to and now I am going to make my red and the blue and the green ones and I'm going to speed through those just so you can see what they look like. wait for my four pieces of art to dry I am going to tidy up and probably have a drink I don't know because I'm bored so these will probably take 10 to 15 minutes to dry for the first one so the purple one and then I would probably say for the last two it will probably take about 20-25 minutes to dry so I'm going to tidy everything up and then I will come back Hi guys, if you hear my phone beeping, that's just because I'm messaging my dad. Uh, it shouldn't beep for a while now, but if it... Is this one dry? Yeah, that one, that one's dry. Okay then, so this is the art finish. So here's the red one. Here is the purple one. Here's the blue one. And I feel like that still needs to dry a little bit more. Because it's kind of sticky, it's not, you know, and here's the green one. And here's Melanie Paris. <coughs> if you didn't know, Paris is Melanie's middle name. Kind of like hyphenated name, really. So here is her hand. And let's do the 
size wise so let's just move the camera out of frame so this one's pretty 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 big compared to my knee it's about it's just a bit bigger than the doll's face this is the blue one And what size is that? That just about covers the center of her face. <sighs> then the green one. This one is the perfect size to fit in her hand. And it just covers her face. And then the red one is the longest one. Goes that. And it goes that. So that is my um diy video for you i hope yours turn out amazing and um i really enjoyed doing this i mean the reason why i wanted to do this video is because i made some before for my studio ages ago i made like similar colors and like people were like oh they're really good can you show us a tutorial on how to do it and i never did so i'm really happy that i've decided to do it so now i am going to go and do the thumbnail and yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching and can we just take a minute to admire melanie's beautiful outfit today it's just gorgeous and her hair it needs washing badly it's really static in but yeah, I was going to use L'Oreal in this video, but I decided to leave her for another video. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Red, Melanie, and yeah, Red and Melanie out.